everybody! Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today, I'm going to read an educational book. I know you'll love it. The Girl Who Thought in Pictures: The Story of Doctor Temple Grandin, written by Julia Finley Mosca, illustrated by Daniel Riley. If you have the same book, go grab it so you can read along with me. If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low, if you don't quite fit in, there's a name you should know. Temple Grandin's that name. In her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowgirl's true story. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple. Hooray! Unique from the start, an unusual girl. She loved spinning in circles and watching things twirl. But some things she hated, like certain loud sounds, or bright crowded places, large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull, and tug. Something else that she hated: a big squeezy hug. A shy loner, this Temple. But when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad, quite a tantrum she'd throw: kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yet still, by age three. Not one word did she speak. She'll never be normal, was what some did say. Her brain's not quite right. You must send her away. Away? Not my temple! Her mother proclaimed. We will figure this out. You should all be ashamed. Then little by little, though sometimes she balked. Special teachers helped Temple, and one day she talked. And that thing with her brain—it was autism. See, she was different, not less. He all finally agreed. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought—that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly. In her mind, she see dozens of photos buzz by. When the time came from school, let's just say that was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple. How crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over, and over, and over, and over. Look at her! Until finally she snapped. Yes, she did. Lost her cool, threw a book at a kid, and was kicked out of school. No one really got Temple, but well, then again, the truth of it was, Temple didn't get them. You need time away," said her mom. "That's what's best." You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was less stress, since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in her herds. Such big, gentle beasts who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends, a thought popped in her head. These cows think like me in pictures instead. At a new school that fall, Temple found more support, and a teacher who taught her you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you are sore. And that teacher was right; he had opened a door. So she built a machine like she's seen on some farms. An invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked. She had done it from memory. It's true, and just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. 
and special. She thought, like a bright shooting star, my attention to details could help me go far. Through her studies, she learned there are farms not so kind. I will help them, she said. Some solutions she'd find. And then something cool. Can you guess? Could it be? Off to college she went. A degree? She earned three. And dull ladies weren't experts on farms at that time. Do you think that stopped Temple? No way. She did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward. No tears. She took on the world, but at times she had fears, because some things were scary, like people she'd meet who'd ignore her ideas, and well, wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up. Learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle were circle and what makes them moo. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to her creatures. She had feelings. She knew it. And slowly but surely, she changed many minds, until farm after farm built her awesome designs. Word spread about Temple. Her feet's not so small. Temple Grandin, she's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now, for these things and more. She's won honors and prizes, and a movie was made. But the biggest surprises, that girl of the future that couldn't be bleaker, yes, the one silent girl. She is now a big speaker. Today she spreads hope with her stories and speeches, from New York to Sydney to Rome. Temple teaches, each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here is the lesson: feeling odd or offbeat, being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back, not for one minute more. Stand tall and, like Temple, march right through that door. Dear reader, as a child. I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you are good at and work on developing it. If you are interested in becoming a scientist like me, find cool new ways to look at things such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature. Think up your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning. Especially from your mistakes, Temple Grandin. Nineteen forty-seven, born August twenty-ninth in Boston, Massachusetts. Nineteen fifty, diagnosed with brain damage, quickly recognized as autism. Nineteen fifty-one, begins to speak with help from tutors and speech therapy. 1961, expelled from school for bad temper. 1961, spends summer on her aunt Anne's ranch in Arizona. 1961, starts Hampshire Country School, and meets Mr. Carlock. 1965, invents her squeeze machine. 1970, earns psychology degree from Franklin Pierce College. 1973 begins writing articles as livestock editor for Arizona Farmer Ranch Man. 1975 earns master's degree in animal science from Arizona State University. 1976 invents curved shoot system for cattle. 1985 speaks publicly for the first time at Autism Society. Of America Conference. 1989, earns doctoral degree in animal science from University of Illinois. 1990, installs first center track restrainer system for livestock. 2005, 
Wright's first New York Times bestseller, Animals in Translation, 2010, named a fellow by the American Society of Animal Science, 2010, becomes subject of HBO award-winning movie Temple Grandin, 2010. Named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People, 2010, inducted into National Cowgirl Hall of Fame, 2015, inducted into American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Present, lives in Fort Collins, Colorado. Professor of Animal Science at Colorado State University. Continues to write, speak, conduct, research, and teach about animal science and autism. D end. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please click the subscribe button for more and be the first to know when a video comes out by tapping that bell. See you next time.